a testament against the world, the Lord's rebuke. The cup of the wrath of my fury is come to the full. October 7, 2011 From the Lord, our God and Savior, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God, Peoples of the earth, your atrocities have kindled a great fire within me. I am enraged as I look upon all these murdered innocents. My fury has come up into my face as I look upon all your false gods, O adulterous and perverse generation. Lo, multitudes of idols fill every corner. Both the believer and unbeliever bow down together and serve their gods. All nations worship the works of their own hands, for they have placed their own creations and the love of their own ideas above their creator. False deities abound, while science and corrupt religion rule over them. Mere theories become truth and doctrine, and lawlessness is widely accepted. And behold, the love of money has become their new taskmaster, and materialism their god. Sins of every kind imaginable flow through every land. Yea, as a mighty river it flows into every nation, reaching unto new heights in wickedness, as the walls are broken down, overtopped by these quickly rising waters. The levees are eroded from beneath. They are undermined continually, widening the breach. Behold, a great flood of sin has ensued. A terrible deluge covers the face of the whole earth. And still the fear of the Lord is all but forgotten. Thus the cup of the wrath of my fury is come to the full. Behold, my kingdom comes, and my will shall be done on earth as in heaven. Even as I had purposed it from the beginning, so shall it be done to this generation. For my throne is set high above the highest heavens, and the earth is but a footstool set beneath my feet. For I am the Lord. Yahuwah is my name. Therefore, let the enemies of the Lord be gathered. Let them be gathered together in one place for judgment. Let the hills melt in the heat of my wrath, and the mountains crumble under the weight of my fury. Let the whole earth be bowed down, until everything high and lofty is brought down, and every stronghold of man is broken and collapses with a great crash, until every nation is plowed like a field, and every city is left in ruinous heaps, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Cut down the trees and lay the forests bare. Let neither stump nor root be left in it. Break off the branches and destroy every vine. For the vine of man is wickedness, and the stronghold of man a dwelling place of evil. Behold, the pillar of man is a tree of abomination. His every branch bears only diseased fruit, infecting the masses. For his roots plunge ever deeper into darkness, that he might secure his place and gain strength in his rebellion against the Lord. Therefore I must remove my sheep, and gather up every lamb, and destroy all these kingdoms of men. No more shall my sheep be hurt by all these briars and thorns. No more shall they become entangled. No more shall my lambs be given up to the slaughter, O most wicked generation. No more shall my beloved be made subject to you. For I must call my children home, that they may be with me where I am. Yet many refuse my voice, and will not listen to the sound of this trumpet. For they plug their ears, and hide their faces. They ignore my call, and loathe my messengers. Obstinate children, who endeavor to grab hold of my robes with one hand, while pushing me away with the other. For I reach down to them. With both hands I bend down to embrace them. Yet they want no part with me, as I truly am. Behold, I have offered them bread from my own table. Manna from heaven has been sent down to them. And how do they repay me? With evil! 
stomping upon my bread, refusing all manna provided them. Yea, they loathe my correction and break my commandments, doing so in the name of the Holy One. Yes, in my own name they do these things. By permission, they claim they are free to do all these things. By permission, under grace, they excuse themselves that they might do all this evil in my name. Lawless people, perverse and degenerate generation, your so-called faith is a loathsome sore upon the skin, a canker upon the lips of all who sing me praises in your courts. Thus I declare to you, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Shall you provoke me to anger? Shall you forsake the moral law in the name of grace and him crucified, that you might provoke me to anger? I tell you the truth. You know nothing of grace, and the true nature of the Holy One is hidden from your eyes. For your knowledge is useless. Your learned leaders desecrate my name and pollute the minds of my people every day. And when they heard of my anger, they did not repent. Neither were they ashamed, nor did they know how to blush. And when I commanded this trumpet be blown, did they perk up their ears to listen? Did they come close to know the heart of the matter? No! Instead, they mocked and refused to give heed, turning their backs on the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, thus declares the Lord to this most foolish and perverse generation, You shall not be lifted up, nor shall you escape the day of the Lord. Death shall be your only relief, and martyrdom your only escape, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord to all these blind and deaf children, to all these desolate people, How is it you refuse my voice, and question my ways without ceasing, and have yet to consider your own? Test your hearts! Look upon your motives! Shall you question my ways, though you yet stand in judgment for your own actions, which were brought forth from your own deceitful hearts? I tell you the truth. The lies thereof have led you astray, and the tablets thereof lack justice. For my cause is not pleaded before the people, and the jury of your peers upholds every evil platform. Therefore, their cause shall crush them, and their controversy shall consume them in the day of judgment, says the Lord. Behold, the cause of the Lord is forgotten among you, and the controversy of the Lord is held in secret. My every decree forsaken! Yet the cause of the Lord shall be fulfilled in his messengers, and the controversy of the Lord shall be trumpeted from the rooftops, and the sins of this people shall be exposed, for they have all together hated me. For every man is led by the deceits of his flesh, he is married to the selfish desires of his own heart, as he casts off the written law of God to his own hurt. Behold, my commandments are regarded as foreign and out of date, and my law antiquated and obsolete in the eyes of this so-called modern generation of enlightened people. Yet I tell you, you are all perverse in my sight, a whole generation of arrogant and high-minded people says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. And what of you, O churches of men? What has happened to you? Why have you also forsaken me? How is it you have altogether become like the heathen, with the vanity of the world gleaming in your eyes, with the lusts thereof filling your hearts and minds? I do not know you. Your self-created God is an abomination to me, and this Jesus you speak of is foreign to me, a great desecration of my image, an affront to my name and my glory. My people, look! Look at all these material things you have acquired, 
Look upon all these idols you serve. You are surrounded on every side. You are boxed in with no escape. Therefore I am come down to destroy all these detestable things. Therefore I am come to wipe them from the face of the earth. For the multitude of all these idols must I destroy the kingdoms of men. O oh, foolish and captive children, I am the only God, your creator, your fashioner, the maker of all things, the God who formed you by his own hands. I gave you breath, and still you bring unwarranted charges against me and think my ways unfair. Shall you continue to persecute those sent to you, provoking me to anger? I tire of all your accusations. Your unending presumptuous ways weary me. I can no longer bear to look upon all your lies and falsehoods. For your heresies have grown unimpeded, filling your unjust courts, which I hate. O oh, abominable vine, how long shall you grow contrary to the way I have established? How long shall you oppose my word and pollute my name by upholding your own way? I am the Lord. My children, the judgment of your hearts is unjust and very foolish, for you have sought to draw charges against the great I am. Thus these courts in which you seek to weigh me are unfair and shall be your undoing. For your weights are deceitful and your arrogant hearts corrupt. Shall you attempt to persecute the Lord your God? Oh yes, you have persecuted me days without end. For you have loathed my messengers and spit upon my servants. You have slandered my bride and lifted up your heel against my elect. Shall I not then bring charges against you? Even against you, O churches of men? Shall I not judge your courts and recompense your deeds upon your own heads? Shall I not correct my people and bring upon them swift discipline? Shall I not rain down judgment and pour out justice upon this wicked generation? Lo, the decree has went forth, the sentence has been declared, and behold, I shall institute the punishment without delay. For you have all dealt unjustly with me, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord, And do I now also lack justice in your eyes? Have my ways become unfair in your sight? Shall you continue to cast off my servants as madmen, because they have forsaken everything to follow me? Yet day and night you watch over your precious idols and secure all your cherished possessions, that you might sit at ease upon your thrones of vanity. Your goals are foolishness and your words wind, selfish desires and vain pursuits pleasing only to men plans and aspirations which shall shortly come to nothing, passing from many of you even before the time. For all these things which you love shall be taken from you, and that which you hold most dear shall be snatched from your arms in one day. Behold, I shall purge your hearts by calamity, and empty your minds by astonishment, and you shall break on account of all these things coming to pass before your eyes. Spirit and body shall be broken together. For I have come to purify and to take away and to destroy, that the defiant may be broken and the high-minded bent backward, that the evil of heart may be cast face down in the midst of great calamity. Multitudes of dead bodies strewn about in the waste places of every city, the streets and alleyways stained red with blood. For the defiant stand proud, they shall be humbled. And the high-minded speak foolishly, with their mouths wide open, leading many astray. They shall be severely abased. Yet the evil of heart shall have no place, for they shall be brought down into the silence of death. For this is their due reward. Yet the stench of their rotting corpses shall testify on their behalf, and the sight of their broken bodies shall speak loudly in one accord, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Yet the Lord 
is not without mercy. Therefore those in whom I see of myself, in whom I am shown to be foremost, shall escape. And after, those who willingly bow down and call upon my name in truth shall be delivered. Yet my people remain foolish, for they think themselves wise in their own eyes, and in their arrogance they rest upon their own doctrine, while embracing every tradition I hate. Look how they love their idols, and prize their great statues. They seek renown from among their own, that they might receive praise from men. And oh, how they love their churches, and revere this false image in which they have recreated me. Brood of vipers, congregation of sly and deceitful snakes, all you soothsayers and smooth talkers who lull my people to sleep and seduce my children to commit fornication with the harlots. With your speech, you woo my people to follow you into death. Your counsel brings them down to the pit. You provide my people with security and false hope and put forth divinations of peace and safety preaching prosperity and monologues of false praise and fake passion, abusing my name and misusing my word, twisting it to uphold your own corrupt foundation, all in the name of unrighteous gain. Shall I not repay? Shall not my discipline be most severe? Says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Churches of men, have you taken no thought to my judgments? How is it you have ignored my every admonition? Admonitions which you were to ponder on your beds at night and dwell upon while gazing at your reflection in the morning. Lo, I have whispered to you in a still small voice, yet you had no ears to hear. I have written to you by the pen of my prophets, yet you refused to see. I have shouted to you by the mouth of my messengers, yet you would not give heed. Rather, you think me evil, and my speech contemptible. Yet in my love I spoke to you, and in my mercy I have warned you. And behold, many of my servants were pricked in their hearts, and have confronted these men in authority. Yes, they have pointed the finger at all these perverse doctrines, and are unsettled by all these detestable traditions. For they are the called out. Yes, my servants are unsettled and have come out. For I have pricked them in their hearts to the cause of the great division. For I myself have brought this sword. Therefore, let the uproar ensue. For the name of God has been polluted, and the sanctity of my word corrupted for evil gain. The churches of men are unclean. Therefore must my people come out from among them, that I may break apart all these false foundations, that I may bring down all these high walls and towering steeples. For thus declares the Lord, Let the spires be turned upside down. Make way for the coming of the Lord. Let the power and glory of the Lord be seen without obstruction. Behold, a great battle cry is heard. The voices of my watchmen are lifted up against their own people, for the enemy dwells within the gates. My witnesses fight in the name of righteousness, yet those within the gate will not give heed. They refuse to come out of their sanctuaries. They will not depart from their man-made temples. Wicked and slothful servants! They know not which master they serve. Yet I tell you, they serve Satan, and by their rebellion have they declared their allegiance. For they have hated me and my Sabbaths, and of my book they see it only as a lever by which they may move the people to conform to their will, perverting my word in Scripture. For the love of money they seek always to expand their churches, increasing their storehouses of wealth and building up their riches by authority in my name. Shall I not repay? Shall I not set all these crooked paths straight? For the heart of this people is corrupt. They remain lost in their own deceptions. Thus 
they have indeed provoked me to anger. Therefore, as it is written, I shall make my words in the mouths of my prophets fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. For the people treat my words with contempt, and do not cease from crying, False! False! Behold, they liken my prophets to predators, and speak of my messengers as though they were brute beasts, risen up from the past, as snakes rearing their heads across the ages. Therefore my servants shall indeed bite them, as the adder they shall rear their heads and strike. Like the fangs of a venomous snake shall their words pierce and flow into the veins, and with the strength of a brute beast shall my servants pass through the midst of them, and not one shall have strength enough to withstand them or prevent them by any means. For I am great in power, and nothing in all creation is able to restrain me, nor shall any prevent my word from speaking when I pour out my fury upon the desolate, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Behold, my own people flee from the word of my mouth, Look how they run from my every proclamation. I cannot speak to them, for they do always resist me, nor do they seek me in truth. Lo, they fight against me by their every word and deed. They do not know me. For the sake of pretense, they draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips. Yet their hearts are far from me. I am exceedingly removed. They do not think about me, nor do I dwell in their thoughts. I am purged from their consciences. They have not pondered my law as David, nor have they mourned like Daniel. They have turned from me, and the way of the Lord they have not known, adding to and taking away from my commandments, ignoring my every decree. Thus I have opened my mouth in correction, and raised my voice in strong rebuke. Yet they cast off my words spoken to this generation, and want no part with me, as I truly am. Behold, I have become as a foreigner to them, of a tongue which they do not understand. Indeed, they refuse to understand. Yet in my mercy I have spoken to them in their own language, with brevity, using few figures of speech, that they might repent and return to me, and walk again in the first works, while not at all ignoring the latter, that they might heed my voice and come out. Yet they will not give heed, nor will they come out. They will not repent. Indeed, they refuse to return, nor will they walk in the way of the Lord. For when I speak, they think me too harsh, claiming my words to be overtones of a forgotten past. They refuse my teaching saying it is too hard and does not fit with their established doctrine. Indeed, they despise my food and will not eat from my plate and want nothing to do with my table. Regurgitated food is their delight and diseased doctrine the only accepted plate. For they have grown accustomed to their own filthy table. Behold, their forefathers call out to them from the grave. Their wicked cause continues. In the faces of their descendants it is clearly seen, and upon their lips the blasphemy of their forefathers is clearly heard, even to this day. And so they persecute me in their deceitful courts, and place me on trial because of my words. Lo, they deny the truth, and put the author of life to an open shame, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, How long shall this perverse and arrogant people weigh me in the balances with pre-weighted scales, holding me up against their own corrupt doctrine, placing me opposite deceitful weights? To this day I am treated as a criminal. I am spit upon every day, beaten and scourged by my own people. How many times shall you crucify me? How long shall you pierce your king, O churches of men? For no man of God is pleasant in their sight. 
No messenger is accepted unless they deal wickedly, unless they speak to them lies and pleasant things, unless they prophesy to them deceits. They will not be accepted, nor will they listen. Have I not spoken the truth to them, that they may know it? Have I not sung to them, that they may learn the melody of my song? Have I not sent many servants to help them, to lead them from their self-imprisonment? For as it is written, I have stretched out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, according to their own thoughts, a people who continually provoke me to anger to my face. Yet I have sent down both the early and latter rain in due season to a desolate people who are in dire thirst, that I might cool their tongues. A people who walk through very dry places, seeking always to hide themselves from the heat of the noonday sun. Yet they will not drink, nor are they hidden, for their sins remain uncovered. Behold, I poured out my life for them in fountains of living waters. For my love runs deep, yet they forsake me still. Therefore, the great and dreadful day of the Lord is declared, the days of martyrdom set, the days in which the court of God shall be cleansed, and the hearts of many shall be remade, established anew in the blood of the Lamb, even the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Therefore again I say to you, test your hearts by the line which is true, by the line which I have given you. No longer tempt the Lord your God, nor claim my ways unfair or my judgments unjust. Am I unfair? Is the Lord your God unjust? Or are your hearts so corrupt that you can no longer discern your right hand from your left? Are your heads so covered with blackness that your eyes can no longer penetrate this darkness which surrounds you. For I tell you the truth, you have blocked my way before me by your traditions, and have covered my righteousness with filthy rags of doctrine. Behold, I am hidden from your eyes. Therefore give answer, O churches of men, where am I found? Do I stand upon your pulpits? Am I seen only in your images of stained glass? Am I bent down and overlain with a cloth, which you call the altar? Am I a god found only in your rituals? Am I a god of religious sacraments to you? Or am I God, the God, he who defends the cause of the fatherless and the orphan, he who commands his people to provide shelter for the homeless and to uphold the cause of the needy, the aged, and the widow? Do I not uphold the scales of truth? Weighing all in the balances? Am I not the discerner of the heart and of the mind? He who knows the innermost thoughts and intentions? Says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Behold, the heart of this people is waxed gross. For they say, the Lord is our God. Yet they forsake my Sabbaths and take no pleasure in my commandments, choosing rather to walk in their own way. I am not their God. For they desire a God without authority, a God who does not see, lest I look upon them and judge them too harshly. For my ways are not sufficient for them, nor will they abandon their sin. They are unwilling to leave behind all they have built up in their vanity and return to me. Thus their arrogance remains uplifted and their pride securely enthroned beneath them says the Lord. Therefore, it is no longer sufficient that I send only one prophet or a single witness. For the foreheads of this modern generation are as hard as adamant stones, multitudes of dead and dying people with countenances set hard against the Lord and his anointed. Thus, I shall not send just one, nor am I sending thirty or sixty or even one hundred men to this obstinate people but one hundred forty-four thousand. For the sake of mercy I am sending them, and for a trumpet and alarm against the cities, the special offering who shall not suffer at the hands of men, 
nor be given up to the slaughter. For the Lord their God shall dwell in them and amongst them with a portion far greater than the prophet Elijah of old. Therefore, woe to all who refuse my messengers and shut their ears to my prophets. Woe to all the inhabitants of the earth who walk contrary to the way I have set before them. For who can escape the righteous anger of God? Who can sidestep the way of the Lord? For my fire is unquenchable, consuming wrath from the Almighty. For the God of recompense has come down, and all shall know me. The glory of the invisible God revealed, the might of the Holy One put on open display. Behold, the wicked and evil of heart shall perish at my own hand. The ungodly and the defiled shall be destroyed together. They shall be consumed. For all those who refuse me shall die in their uncleanness. All those who willingly forsake me shall be cast into eternal darkness, into the void of lifeless nothingness, forever. For these did not seek out my salvation, which came down in the flesh. They wanted no part with him who was sent. They refused to accept me as I truly am. Behold, my own blood was poured out for them, yet they continued to curse my name. I offered them new garments, robes of white, as white as snow. Yet they pushed out the hand and stiffened their necks, and did not cease from lifting up their heel against me. Therefore my sword shall be fully unsheathed, and my robe soaked with blood, when I lift up my voice against them, and strike them with the sword of my mouth. For behold, it is written before me, I will not be silent but will surely repay, recompense in full even into their bosom, their iniquities and the iniquities of their forefathers together, says the Lord. Therefore repent, for the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken.